uh, Professor Contreras, we were just talking about the, the survey, the last uh, 2020, the 2022 pre-election surveys, as well as the actual presidential results over the last 53 or so years. Uh, what do you think? Are we, are we going to have another majority president? Well, first of all, I, I heard uh, Ed mentioned earlier a very valid explanation why Ferdinand Marcos Sr. got a uh, majority because we had only two candidates before at the two-party system. So it is expected that whoever mm -hmm. wins will get a majority. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we could not compare those. Well, what we can compare will be when we started having many candidates running. And it seems that if surveys hold, uh, then any time now we will know whether you know they're going to hold. Uh, we are going to probably have, a, for the first time, that we had multi-party system, a candidate is going to win a clear majority. So uh, uh, that means that, that the support, if that happens, the support to the front runner is overwhelming. I, I was I was listening a little bit earlier about the discussion in the previous uh, segment about explanations why Marcos is is winning uh, the hearts of people, and I do agree that uh, his 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 narrative is simple. He's, it's not cluttered. It's it's his object is also actually excellent. You know, I think it's very professional. When you look at his ads, and it's almost like a Cesar Vidimin production. Uh, uh, but the other thing that I'd like to comment is that I, I I think, and with all due respect to the other panelists, I, I don't think it's accurate to say that Marcos doesn't have a platform. Uh, I, I I I I am I have objectively look at the platforms of all candidates because I was a member of a panel before. Uh, that interviewed this candidate. So nakita ko yung mga platforma nila. May mga platforma sila. Uh, ang nagkakaiba lang sila, sa paano nila ipinapaliwanag yun. Kasi yung iba, pinapaliwanag nila ang platforma nila sa pamamagitan ng debate. Si Marcos may ibang paraan. Pero hindi naman tama na sabihin na wala siyang ino-offer na platforma. Ang ginagawa niya, yung platforma niya, pinapabasa niya sa tao, pero yung kanyang message, pag siya nagsasalita na, mas less yung, ang optics niya iba. So it looks like that is more effective. Kasi kung titingnan mo sa mga kampanya, ang mga tao na nanonood sa, 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 sa spectacle, hindi sila makikinig sa, sa, sa substansya. Now also the question, why is it that people seem to like him even if, you know, be that as it may, na hindi niya communicate yung kanyang uh, platform sa poverty, etc. Nabanggit ko na yan kanina eh. Kasi nga, uh, hindi natin nalalaman kung itong mga ito nagmamatter sa butante. Sinasabi lang importante ito sa akin. Pero yan ba ay ginagamit mo sa pagdesisyon mo kung sino iboboto? Yan ang kulang na tanong. Professor so, Contreras. I, I think that that yeah. is something that needs to be, needs to be addressed. Uh, we could not simplify. Uh, because if we keep on pushing for that kind of angle, then we are again putting the Filipino, parang rinigin by very two-dimensional ang ating analysis ng Filipino, na parang, parang madali siyang lukohin of the Italiano gold. I'm, I'm sure some people are, are buying to that. Marami naman taong ganun eh, on both sides. But to, 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 to reduce the support of the front runner sa kababawan or sa hindi nag-iisip, is really what makes people angry. Okay? This is really what, what, what people find offensive. Na parang, parang this, when, you, when you support this guy, then you must not be thinking right. because you're not thinking about your interest. Right. Okay. But Professor Contreras, the fact remains that he hasn't communicated much about his platform, right? And that's not for lack of trying on the media's part. We have tried. They ambush him at every campaign sortie. We have invited him numerous times on the show to talk about the platforms. But other than what he said about rice and nuclear power, we don't know much. That's why there's a perception that he doesn't have a platform. Well, like I said, uh, iba iba kasi yung style ng pag-communicate. Eh. I don't know how you did it, but when I was preparing to become a panel uh, a panel members, I saw the, the platforms of all candidates. I saw it for Lenny, for Ping, even Isko, who is a non-appearance in the DCRH Manila Times interview, meron siyang platforma. So I think it's, it, it, it's incumbent upon if, 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 if Mohammed doesn't go to the mountain, I mean, the mountain should go to Mohammed. You have to look for it. Uh, uh, I, I think that's the problem. Na, kasi nakikita ko naman mga tables sa mga ginagawa ang mga iba eh, na anong standing at sa ganito, anong standing at sa akin, kinuha yung, yung mga stand na yun ni Marcos from nothing, from nowhere. Diba? So yun yung point. I think kaya nagagalit ang mga tao. In a way, you know, I, I'm sorry to tell you this. 
But the, one of the reasons why many people are also nagiging parang they 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 they, 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 they go to Marcos. Inaandun yung effect na parang siya na yung tuloy. Ang siya sa nakakita na yung front runner, yung may underdog. Kasi siya nga yung inaatake binabalata siya left and right. Okay? So so which which is that good kasi sparing bang naging underdog ito eh siya nga yung front runner, di ba? Pero lumalabas kasi siya nga yung binibira ng husto. Uh, and and I think one of the things that is is it's his this unbalanced representation in the media that is being perceived and I'm not saying it's uh, good or correct fair pero yun ang conclusion ng mga tao na nang 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 supporters siya na parang inaapi-api siya hindi nakikita sinasabi na wala naman siyang platforma eh nakikita naman nababasa naman nila nakikita nila sa TikTok nababasa nila sa Facebook sinishare ng mga tao ng supporter niya eh bakit hindi niyo makita Okay. Uh, Ronald, uh, Mr. Lamas, uh, what do you think? Well, katulad nga nung sinabi ni Regina, no? parang wala naman nagsabi na wala siyang platform. Ang sinasabi ay hindi niya pinapaliwanag yung mga platform dahil hindi naman siya humaharap sa media, hindi naman siya humaharap sa debate no? na pinag-uusapan yung platforma. Baka maunawaan pa ng mga tao nung hindi siya dumalo kay Jessica Soho. Sabi niya, bias. Pero Comelec debates, hindi ka dadalo. No? Paliwanag mo naman na maigi. Paano yun lang nga yung kakaunting oportunidad eh, para ipaliwanag yung plataforma mo. No? Yun yung sinasabi. Ngayon, sinasabi lumalabas sa face. Yun yung sinasabi natin. Mag tab baka nga, objectively, looking at his strategy, baka nga siya yung mas may effective na strategy eh, na hindi nagde-dwell sa platform. Nagde-dwell sa imagery. Nagde-dwell sa mga memes. No? Kaya nga sinasabi natin, in terms of strategy, Baka nga effective yung kanyang strategy. Kaya nga number one siya. Kaya nga, uh, most, baka nga kung tama yung survey, no, bukas, baka siya yung manalo. Pero ang sinasabi lang natin kanina, no, dun pinag-uusapan kasi yung survey na ito yung mga issues na lumalabas. Bakit ito mga issues na ito ay hindi nagiging batayan ng pagpili ng kandidato? So medyo magkaiba. No? Yung lumalabas na mga issues sa survey ng mga na-survey na concerns nila sa magiging presidente at yung sino yung pinakamataas sa mga survey. No, yun yung sinasabi natin kanina na may disconnect. Mm -hmm. no? uh, kaya pinag-uusapan natin kanina, usually sa mga kampanya, ang pinupuntahan ng mga tao ay yung, ng kandidato ay yung least common denominator. Yung mas pinakamadaling maunawaan o yung pinakamadaling makita. No? Pero, ang sinasabi kasi natin, halimbawa sa ibang mga modern democracy, mas intense yung diskusyon about platforms. No? Mas intense yung mga debate. Halimbawa, pag hindi ka dumalo sa debate sa US, hindi ka dumalo ng debate sa Europe, sigurado talo ka. No? Yun yung isang kaibahan natin sa mga mas developed na mga democracies.